by the dread wolf. Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean. Don't let them get away. You Coterie, one of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you, and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. Present minor misunderstandings aside, I believe our purposes are the same. One of the scum that attacked my caravans worked for someone in the coterie named Brecker. Lily said she'd look into it. I think Brecker had her killed. Brecker, hmm. If you're lying, I'll find you. 
Men, we have to get to the bottom of this. Now. You're selling the assets of Javaris Tintop. We are. Limited districts, limited contracts. Keeps territory clear and separate from the start. He had a meager lot, but he skipped with dues outstanding. So up it goes. There's a lot riding on finding Javaris. Can you help? The members of our little fellowship expect privacy. But he skipped out on paying me, too. Javaris left in a hurry. I'd put him at Smuggler's Cut if he's avoiding patrols. It empties at a cave outside town. Tell him I said, don't come back. There's no way this Javaris stole from the Canari. That's hard. I've heard. You must be Brecker. And you're that lice-covered refugee. You'd better leave the bone pit shipments alone. Understand? You're making demands of me. You own half a stake in a mine and you think you're somebody, huh? Some Ferelden's don't have the courtesy of knowing when to bloody die.
take a look at that? Something else? You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Strange that people would get such an idea out of the blue. I may have embellished a detail or two here and there. A little. And added a few things that didn't happen. For pacing, you understand. Just... Don't be surprised if people seem in awe. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done... You've got your hero. And exactly how many taverns have heard this particular story? I only frequent the nice ones. Where it goes afterward is anybody's guess. You're beautiful, deadly, and hang out with fantastic dwarves. It would be a crime if people didn't talk about you. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. Do you ever feel like the world's getting simpler? I found the thieves responsible for the cargo thefts. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolve, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy.
This place is so dismal.
be unhealthy. Calm yourself, Javaris. You're not dead yet. You? Granny's garters, she would hire you. I can't buy a break on discount. You know what? Go ahead. Take my head and pike it back to that sodding elf. I need the rest. The Canari powder. It's not what you think. It's poison. Wait. You're tracking for the Canari. Then she did it. That elf got them after me for nothing. Bitch born. It certainly wasn't hard to frame you. Look, I'm minding business, same old. And out of the blue, some elf tries to kill me. Says she's got the Kunari powder and I'm her cover. I slipped her, hired some bodyguards and ran for it. And now you're here. Great. If you're innocent, you could plead your case to the Arashok. Let's break this down. An elf with explosives wants me dead. Part two, the Canari may think I'm a thief and also want me dead. Either option seemed promising? Didn't think so. Here, want to drag Dark into light? I had a man follow her. The elf's in Low Town. I just want to get out with my dead guards. Thanks for that. Better luck wherever you're bound, Javaris. The farther, the better. Right. Got me a rosy future to plan out. I think I'll start by selling some boots. Sodding bunch of... Take a long breath on a short shaft, you blasted dog lord inroaders.
All of you. I can't fight the damned air. You want to live? Stay out. Is there something I can do? Wait. Messer Hawk. Maker, please. The street is death. There was a cloud that drove people mad, and now a seeping mist that kills. All I can do is warn people. If someone like you dies on my watch, I'm right stuffed. Easy, son. Keep your post. This is my risk. But... shit. This should do the trick.
Easy. I'm just trying to find out what happened. Is that... Sarah Hawk? You have enemies. I'm glad it's you, really. <sighs> These poor people. You are a much better target. You stole the Gatlock. What, to sell? Justify yourself. Kanari, take my people. My siblings forget their culture, then go to the Kuhn for purpose. We're losing them twice. So I get some help from your people. We'll take the Kanari Thunder, make some accidents, and make them hate it. But this... This is all wrong. Which of my people put you up to the theft? It can still work. They're hidden in your city. They'll enrage the faithful and make sure the Kunari are blamed. Me, I'm finished. I just need a few more bodies. A few more.
I found your patrol. They won't be coming back. You have stolen my duty, Basra. We were supplied for this task, but you have done this instead. Take what was meant for us. So, I was wrong about our thief. It appears so. They say we were careless with our trap, that this is our fault. But even without the Sarkamek, there would have been death. This elf was determined to lay blame at our feet. But your feet didn't do anything wrong, did they? Selfishness, want, denial. How do you allow this to continue? If you dislike Kirkwall so much, why haven't you left? Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just... festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You say we should leave. But how can you bear to stay in this... chaos? My welcome to the city was not so different from yours. And yet you suffer it. It's an opportunity to make a real difference. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But... They are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. Could you, could not this entire city benefit from that certainty? How else will you know when you have made a real difference? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be. As do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. Your kind may force our role to change, if the Kuhn demands. She was angry to see her people losing their culture by claiming yours. We accept those who submit to the Kuhn. The weak naturally seek the strong. It doesn't matter. We did not come equipped to indoctrinate. I am here to satisfy a demand you cannot understand. It's been a long time. It will take as long as needed. No ship is coming. There is no rescue from duty to the Kuhn. I am stuck here. That is not the understanding of city leaders and their supporters. Let them rot. Filth stole from us. Not now, not the Sarkamek. Years ago. A simple act of greed has bound me. We are all denied Parvolin until I alone recover what was lost under my command. That is why this elf and her shadows are unimportant. That is why I do not simply walk from this pustule of a city. Fixing your mess is not the demand of the Kuhn, and you should all be grateful! Thank you, human, for your service. Leave. That's an oxman ready to charge. The Viscount should know.
Have you noticed how many Tranquil are in the Gallows Courtyard lately? And don't tell me I'm just sensitive to it. I've been watching, and every day there are new Tranquil, selling their bloody wares. Good mages, too. People I know pass their harrowing. Doesn't Chantry Law say that mages who pass their harrowing can't be made Tranquil? Exactly. The Templars are using the right of tranquility to silence those who speak against them. They're working on a deliberate plan to turn every mage in Kirkwall within the next three years. Whatever you think of Templars, you can't imagine they're so heartless. They're worse. There are groups in Kirkwall who help those fleeing the Circle. I've talked to people on the inside. The plan is the work of a Templar named Sir Ulrich. I've had a run-in with him myself. He's the one who did the ritual on Karl. Nasty piece of work. Likes to make mages beg. What happened between you and Sir Ulrich? I've been involved with an... underground resistance. Mages living free in Kirkwall who help others escape. I can't tell you any more, for your sake and theirs. You have too much involvement with the Guard and nobility. Suffice it to say, I've been in the gallows. I've seen his work firsthand. Then perhaps the blame can be laid on him, and not every Templar. That's what I hope. If we bring the evidence of this plan to light, there must be men who'll stand against it. Perhaps even the Grand Cleric will finally be forced to act. My friends in the Mage Underground know a way inside. A secret entrance under the walls of the gallows. Come with me tonight, please. Help me find the evidence of Sir Ulrich's tranquil solution. What do you mean, tranquil solution? That's what he calls it. His idea of a peaceful solution to the Mage problem. To sunder the mind of every Mage in the Free Marches. I'm told he's bringing his proposal to Val Royo. To the Divine herself. He would turn every mage in Thedas into a drooling simpleton under his command. I wouldn't let you face this alone. You are the one bright light in Kirkwall. I've always feared being made tranquil. Now, more than ever, I'm ready to go when you are. Our entrance is concealed not far from here. I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? You can't see it, but below deck there's a perfect replica of you with a dozen sailors in attendance. You tease. <laughs> I'm sure there isn't. It is a worthy goal to work towards, however. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. Why do you always win at cards? <laughs> because I cheat, Kitten. <laughs> this trinket, it's Elven, isn't it? From your clan. Don't bet anything you're not prepared to lose. Here, have it back. A jigger of your finest whiskey for my friend over here. 
The hanged man's finest isn't much, but it'll get you just as drunk as anything you'll find in Hightown. <laughs> That's generous of you. What's coin if not for spending, eh? You could save up to buy yourself a new ship. There you go, ruining our fun with good sense. I thought I'd have to watch myself around you, but as it turns out, you're all right. What happened to... You cast me about like a summer storm, and I loved every minute of it. <laughs> you can enjoy a person in a bedroom, but detest their company outside of it. I don't detest your company outside of the bedroom. If I had someone like you on board my ship when the storm hit, maybe we wouldn't have been shipwrecked. If you hadn't been shipwrecked, we wouldn't have met. That would have been a shame. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Hawk, I need a favor that I can only trust to you. You can always ask. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donick, here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. Donick? The one we pulled from an ambush? The event that put me here. But this is a different need of the Guard and its captain. And you're doing very badly at the no-questions part. Very well, Eveline. If it means that much. Thank you. And please hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk. I really do. Guardsman Donick. Sir Hawk. It's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. No ill effects from the ambush, I trust. They got me pretty good, I'll admit. But they fared worse, so I can't complain. Guard is a good career if you're careful. A short one if you're not. And the captain makes sure we're careful. This is for you. It's apparently very important. I'll take you at your word. It's a copper relief of... Marigolds? Ah, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Just keep it. I'm sure it's more than it seems. It would have to be. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do, of varying import. Sarah Hawk. Is there some reason Aveline just made us look like idiots? You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? As one might expect when confused. I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols, for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. 
All right. Posting the roster just over there. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. <sighs> Too many hits to the head. Or not enough. Hey, Donick, whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working dockside on those smugglers. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. You have got to be kidding me. What did I do to get that post? Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need... I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. Hold a moment. You're sweet on the boy. So help me, whore. I will break you. Oh, this is glorious. All this flailing is her idea of courtship. Haveline, you know you can talk to me. What am I to say? That a grown woman can't speak her mind? I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. I'm confused. Wasn't Lady Manhans married already? That was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. It's just fear. I know it's foolish, but I can't get away from it. What about you and Isabella? I know she doesn't have two thoughts to rub together, but the danger of your lives must worry you. Maybe we're not the best example. But you understand. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. Well, this little dance certainly isn't helping. So what will? I'm the captain. He's my guardsman. I can't get past that. So go out. Get him drunk. Shame is a great equalizer. What? Just go out somewhere? Like it's that easy? What? Too simple? Tell Donick. Invite him to the hanged man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group. Anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Sir Ardonic, are you free? I need to ask you something. I have no immediate patrols. Why? It's nothing to be concerned about. Meet me at the Hanged Man. Very well, Sir Arhawk. I guess I'll see you there. Did she just... No. of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. The Canari were blameless. Right. A mad elf, pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. Keep the worst of them off his back, and it'll be all right. 
But that is the problem. It has already escalated, despite your efforts. Shame. What happened? A Konari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing almost literally from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? We need to get out in front of this, and fast. I feel I've been trying to turn a stampede for some time now. Someone is pushing very hard. Speak with Seneschal Bran. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. I don't know who would benefit from fighting the Konari, but it will cost all of us. You have information about the missing Konari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. The Arashok is growing violent. He might want an excuse to end this peace. I suspect that if the Arashok wanted to take over, he simply would. For all we fear that heretical Kuhn of his, its demands have done more to keep him in check than any of our efforts. Besides, would Kunari stoop to trickery? There is no precedent, but there is unfortunate evidence of influence on our side. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard. Unless they were involved. Not coincidentally, a number of recent recruits have failed to report. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. The Hanged Man. Hanged Man. Definitely. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I've heard that pirate girl of yours talk. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Thank you, love. No one could ever replace your father. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age.
I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Something seems off about your mirror. Shouldn't it reflect the room? No. It's not that sort of mirror. I've spent the last few years restoring this. Two of my clan stumbled across it in a ruin. We never found Hamelin. Amario came back, poisoned by the Alluvion. Sick just from being near it. Did your clan member recover? The Keeper treated him, but she said it was the blight. The corruption. A Grey Warden took him away. He said the Wardens had the means to cure him. It must have been true. The Keeper said that he fought the Archdemon himself. This thing is what made the Keeper send you away, isn't it? The Keeper wanted me to destroy the fragment I kept. She said our ancestors meant it to be forgotten. But it's a Keeper's place to remember. Even the dangerous things. We argued. I... left. She's wrong. This mirror could teach us so much about who we once were. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or, or tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. An Arulin home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. But you're afraid to face Keeper Marathari again. Exactly. You have no... Idea, the Keeper, I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? I'll go with you. Maseranus, I'll find some way to repay you, I promise. Keeper. You return to us, Stalin. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I... Go on. I'm with you. Thank you, Hawk. Keeper, I need the Arulin home. The ancient carving blade that Master Island keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvian. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking Via Sulavanan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. It is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. We appreciate your help. This means a lot to Meryl. I'm glad that Meryl has a friend in you, child. I hope you will look after her. I can take care of myself, Keeper. Yes, Dalen. I know. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. 
It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Seek it out, slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us, and I will give you the Arulin home. May the Dread Wolf never catch your scent. Alondine guide you, Lethalan. What were the hunters doing in here? The Keeper would have sent them to recover elven artifacts from the Vateral before the camp had to move in again. So your Keeper sent them to their deaths? No. Normally they let the Dalish come and go as we please. Something must have provoked it. Why did this happen? Oh, Harshal, I am so sorry. I'll tell Inuria for you.
Jan Dan. Tread carefully, Letheline. May the trickster never find you in the beyond. We should give their clan amulets to the Keeper. Their families should know that they died bravely. Is someone there? It's safe. You can come out. Hello? Praise Andrast... I mean the creators. I thought I'd never get out of... Meryl? Anethera, Paul. Are you hurt? Stay back. What do you want from me? Paul, what's wrong? I'm here to help. Stay back! Don't touch me! Be calm, Paul. We'll help you get back to the camp. You don't know what she is, what she's done! Creators, help me! Someone, please! Paul, no! We have to catch him, hurry! Hold on, Paul. We're coming. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe we can get him to the Keeper. She can heal almost anything. He's dead. There's nothing a healer can do now. There was nothing you could have done. He 
was more afraid of me than the Vatero. Paul wasn't like the others. He was city-born. Worldly. He ran away from the Denerum and found us. I thought if anyone would understand, he would. This... Something is very wrong. I want to see the Keeper. Sometimes men do senseless things. any sense.
The Varterol is dead. Master Rannus, I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Varterol. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dalen. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There's no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Alluvian is poison. It killed Tamlin. It stole Mahariel. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk. Because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. I hope this helps you finish your work on the Alluvian. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. the question if your people were going to make a magical whatever for talking to each other why choose a mirror do elves spend a lot of time talking to their own reflections i suppose the ancient elves would have felt silly talking to a wardrobe or an urn if there weren't so many mages preaching sedition the templars would not feel so compelled to use the rite of tranquility Brilliant. I'm amazed that you found everything. My craft can begin anew. Your reward, my young friend. Welcome back to school.
talk. I could never have faced the Keeper myself. I never imagined a human would help me restore Dalish history. No one ever understood. Not the Keeper, not my clan. Just you. When the Illuvian is finished, they'll appreciate all you've done for them. It's all right. Even if they hate me forever, I'll know I helped them. You're the first real friend I've ever had. Maseranus, Lethalan. 